What's going on guys? It's me, your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and welcome back to another rainy night in the Land of Shadow. So in the last episode, we left off here in this castle here, but it's not just any castle, it is the Fort of Reprimand. We're going to be told that we've been naughty. So, Omen Killers, Knights, Mesmer Soldiers, the works, Iron Virgins even. The game really has just been trying so hard to kill me lately, and it's come very close a couple times because that omen killer down below where we found those cool rune items, he got close, but no cigar. Say it with me. I want to hear it. What, what is the purpose of our mission? What is our goal? Don't get got. You know it. And we're going to keep that energy. So we've got a bit of a badass here. This guy seems to have a twin blade. That's what my eyeballs can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this guy out here because I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that there's no way for me to sneak behind him. See what I mean? That guy is flying. Okay, so let's go over here, huh? Let's go fight this guy where we've got some room. We'll see what happens. So that is Tree Sentinel music, so wondering what else this guy can do. Now, we saw that ability. Does he stop? Is it ever my turn to attack? Can't backstab him? I can, okay. We saw this ability in the trailer. I'm honestly like, Super looking forward to playing around with that. So he does not bounce off the shield either. Good to know. He does. Okay. All right. He does not with that attack. That attack though. So let's do this. Let's see if we can charge attack him on wake up. Maybe we can break his stance. Here we go. The lovely shield barricade strikes again. I love it. So that attack seems relatively harmless. It doesn't look like it can hurt you, to be honest. Although, the thing I'm noticing with this guy is he never seems to stop attacking. Okay, how about one of these? Yes, that will speed the process up. <laughs> Okay, he does not seem to want to quit attacking is the thing. That's like really easy to get away from. Unless you roll early like a dumbass. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have changed my weapon like that. There we go. Because this will break his stance faster. There we go. And then we can just switch. Easy peasy. I could have got one after that. Bro, he misses you with all of his attacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gonna shoot with a nice kick in the nuts. So can give us that that cool attack. Yeah, yeah, Ashavor. Aspects of the Crucible. Wings. So that's kind of cool. Let's actually look real quick because once we go in to our menu, that's something I really wish they would change about this game. I would love to see that in a patch is if they would make it to where you can see the description and stuff and what weapons it's good for from the actual Ashavor menu instead of looking in your inventory. So this is holy for sure. Um... Originates from the life forms of the crucible grow a golden pair of wings and take to the air before diving down at the foe weapon first a spinning attack is performed when wielding a twin blade That's cool So it's good for what usable on swords as well as pole arms capable of thrusting so You can't get the spin attack Unless you put it on a twin blade. Let's put it to the test. We'll see what the differences are selves. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, so it gives you that, uh, there's no follow-up. You know, I'm thinking that you could, okay, you can't use it while jumping, but you guys, you guys know what I'm getting at here? You know what I'm about to say, right? I'm thinking that you could, so here, here's a good example. I'm thinking you could use this attack to, like, get yourself thrown off a ledge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you could do with it. Before I embarrass myself again, let's just go grab this item the correct way. It was cool to test out and see. Did you think I was going to get got, man? I'm going to beat you with a freaking unupgraded base game weapon. You bastard. I can't believe he survived that fall. That guy is made of something else. So now what we're going to do is... Oh, by the way, the reason this has an art on it is because I was messing around with these. I'm trying to find, like, a cool use for this weapon, and I did. I mean, it's a throwable. It's really cool. This is the weapon that's actually used by that enemy I really can't stand. The one that's waiting for you right on top of the tombstone when you get into the DLC. But, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a cool weapon, but I just can't... I can't get the damage to work with it, you know what I mean? I can't get it to scale properly, I can't... I didn't even bother wasting stones and upgrading. But I may play out... I may play around with the throwing blades. I'll tell you that. The throwing blades, they have potential. Lots of potential. Now, I feel that in the previous episode, there was a split off in the path somewhere that we missed. And we may need to go back and see. We're going to have to make sure we didn't miss anything. Don't worry. I won't make you guys sit through all the run back and stuff. I think we're going to get another named weapon. This is a very similar climb and level scale that we did to get to Milady. So I'm thinking this could potentially be something good again. Okay, Battlefield Priest's Cookbook. I believe we have gotten one of those so far. We have not. Okay, this is our first one. The Festive Grease. Okay, so we can get the the grease that gives us runes when we use it. I don't know why we would need it, because... Is that what I think it is? That's a ding-dong damn chest. And the way you get to it is up there. That's another Mikola's cross up there. How the hell do we get there, is the question. But first, let's use the vantage point we have to our, <laughs> wait for it, advantage. And let's make damn sure that we didn't miss anything. I don't, I don't see anything. I think we're good. We probably got every item here. Would you look at that? All we have to do do I have to interact with it? Hello? Yo! How do I use it? Sealed Spirit Springs. Should you chance upon a sealed spirit spring, look for stacked stones nearby. By toppling them, you may break the seal. Bro, I'm toppling it. Well, that was stupid. Hey! Is it this? I bet it's this. Do I hit it? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Sneaky, sneaky. Hep. Yeah. As you were. Bat. I love learning things. Hoo ah, shit. Not these things. I don't like these things. So, what are we going to do? Our due diligence. Time to buff up. I hate you. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> yeah, don't you do your thingy thing. You know what I mean. Thing I don't like. And I know that 
holy is 100% the answer for these guys. I'm totally aware of that. But the thing is, this attack just feels great, man. The big talisman. You know what I mean? Now, I guarantee there's more, so we're going to have to take it easy. I can see another one up there already. Let's, uh... Let's mind our manners here. And we'll play it smart. There's something up here, some kind of establishment. I've got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. God, I don't remember the last time I listened to that song. Jeez. This will absolutely shred these nerds. I don't like that. Oh, come on! That attack should have landed. Oh my god. There will be none of that. Oh god. I'm supposed to be dual wielding. Here we go. This is what I wanted to do. That attack. <laughs> that attack is like the ultimate end for these undead enemy types. The, for those who live in death. I'm telling you, the weapon art on that thing is good. Here, I'll show you again. It's got massive range. Come on down. Y'all don't seem to have the ghost flame like your counterparts do. And I'm fine with that. I'm also fine with you being stupid. And not being able to get through the tree. Let's see what's going on up here. What are these guys guarding? They clearly do not want you to come up here. There's something going on. What are you hiding from me? Bro, that guy is stupid. What are you hiding from me? There's got to be something good up here. Um, no. Settle down, Pumbaa. Unless there's, like, a pig drome. I guess I'm a monster hunter player. Unless there's a bull drome waiting around the corner that's going to aggro on me, like, with the goat drome. Then I don't feel any kind of uh, issue with taking that guy down. So let's see if there's another NPC up here. They would stick an NPC right where you get attacked by piggies. Don't do it. Yeah, that's right. I would run off a cliff instead of fighting me too. You goobers. So let's get ourselves another fragment. I abandon here my eye. So why? What is with the symbolism here? Is it because... Are there certain places that that weren't certain body parts of Mikola being left behind. That's what I'm starting to think. Think hard, Pumbaa. Yeah, that's what I thought. The cliff is a better option than me. I wonder. Oh shit, the birds are gonna come back. That's okay though, because look, we have enough. Bam, we're up to level seven now. I don't know how many levels there are. I don't know how I don't know what kind of good that's going to do us. But I can never tell if the pitcher patcher is coming towards me or if it's them running away. <laughs> One of those options is clearly better than the other. So now we're just looking for the drop off to get to that chest, which should be Hallelujah. Right over here somewhere. I thought. Um. Am I crazy? Nah. His hands are ready to eat for everybody. Punk. We should be able to make that. <laughs> Are you serious? There's no way. Hold on. We're taking another quack at this. That was a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers joke, if you need to know. There we go. That's how that should have gone. Is it up there? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's up here. We could have grabbed this in the last episode if I was smart. A trap. Mimic. Oh, okay. Huh, 
I can buy those. <laughs> like I care. All right. So with that out of the way, as exciting of an excursion as that was, I would like to explore this body of water out here. I want to see if there's anything notable over there. I know it's not that, right? It's not directly in front of me. No. Okay. So let's see what's going on with the water over here. <laughs> Get down. That can go the way we thought it would, did it? We got the Black Knight's Greaves. So that what the, that's what these are called? These guys are just called Black Knights? Sounds kind of Dark Souls 1. Damn, they look cool. They look way cooler than regular Knight Greaves. I'll tell you that. So this is a different body of water with differently hostile wormies. I wonder why. What's going on with this body of water? Why do you... What the hell's that? Is that a statue of America? Hold on. We must investigate. There's a stake of America right there, so that tells me there's something going on with this body of water. We got a four-toed foul foot. Damn. I feel like... What's that? It's a big bridge out there. No, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> we must stick to one thing at a time. What was that? Oh, Boomba. Get out of here. So look, right here, see? We have a Stake of America. That means... Boss? Oh boy, Shit Eater Steve is summonable. Oh, another Scattered Fragment. So yes, this is a Statue of America with no head. What is that? Oh god, Miranda Powder. I don't like it. Why can't I summon Steve for this? Here we go. Oh, shit. Drink this. You can have one of these. <laughs> there you go. And one of these. Frenzied Flame doesn't mess around, man. And it'll stagger you. <laughs> Get out of here, you little bastards. So we got a Shadow Sunflower. That's a new item. Oh, he may as well finish the job. <laughs> you can kick like the Bone Fist from Dark Souls 2. Good stuff. Love it. We got ourselves a Shadow Rune. So what were y'all guarding? What's going to be through here? That's a tree I recognize. So that tree in particular, let's make a lore connection real quick. We'll zoom out. If we go back to the base game map, that tree can actually be found here. Right here at the Minor Earth Tree Church, outside of the capital. That same kind of tree can be found growing there. So, I'm kind of curious what the deal is. And why are there perfumers guarding it? I mean, the, the... That was cool. Just slow walks out from behind the tree. Nice. Um... I've got a present for you. <laughs> you like rocks? Big rocks? <laughs> How about small rocks? I have rocks of all sizes. <laughs> Pocket sand. <laughs> Ugh, I'm an asshole. Heal from afar. Okay, what's this? Okay, these trees have the blessed bone shards on them. Cool. Looks like there's there's a few of them around here. Okay. May as well pick them up while we can. So let's take a look at the heal from afar, shall we? We'll see if it's worth 
Humoring. Greatly heals HP from distant allies. For distant allies, the spell reaches. Okay. Fires a projectile toward distant allies that greatly restores HP on contact. Okay. That's... I mean, I dig that. You can heal your spirit ashes. Um, I'm down for it. Okay. We'll give it a shot. That's a nice little side cave. Okay, so now what I want to do is this little camp that's directly outside of the cave. I want to see if there's anything worth looting here. We're going to see if there's any fancy chests, any, any notable loot. I do see one of these Mesmer Embers. I'm going to grab that. It's nice for making those throwing pots. And it looks like there's a Scatatry Fragment here, too. Man, these guys are packing heat, man. Shit. <laughs> Fine. You want to go? That's right. That's right, son. Dumb coming at me without a shield. At least those two were brave enough to bring something to block with. I love it. Yeah, how's that working for you, pal? Yep, you've almost made it to me. There you go. Nope, I cannot poise your horse. You're donezo. Dude, that's insane. The Buddhist palm attack can outpoise horse hoofs. Two horse hoofs coming full force at your face. I love it. There's got to be something good in here. I can smell it. Hmm. Perhaps that's just me. I do smell good most days. Oh, there we go. I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it was just in the other tent. Fire Knight's Cookbook. This is the first tier. Let's take a look and see if we can cook with that. Mesmer Fire Grease? Okay. We've actually been picking up plenty of that, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah! Yeah, get out of here. Could have swore there was one more guy on a horse. There he is. He's just wildly riding around. Uh, like the guy with the sour Ed the sour Elden Ring review, swinging wildly. My guy just keeps swinging wildly. So let's see if we can do a little bit of goat parkour, shall we? He, maybe, maybe. Oh come on, that was it. Here we go. Yep. All right. I see big castle. We've already done that. That's Castle Enzis, it looks like. So, um, I think what I want to do next is we just explored this body of water, right? And then we did the little camp that's in the middle of the road. So I think what I'll do next is I'll kind of color my way outward. We've already explored in this direction. We got invaded by the bowl cut guy in that building, and we got a key that we can use at the Shadow Fort, which we haven't made it to yet. I would imagine maybe this is the Shadow Fort. I don't fucking know. But I want to make my way to this body of water next. We're going to just color our way outward. Ah, shit. Big fire giant dude is in the way. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Mark my words, man. I'm going to find a way to kill him. Uh, I just want the ember. I don't want to fight these guys. I don't feel like aggroing anything. I'm not going to gain anything from fighting you guys. This guy's going to stand up and shoot me with a bow, though. I guarantee it. No, this is a twin blade guy. Give you the Buddhist palm, boy. Shit! No! Heal! How did I miss? Bro, that twin blade combo doesn't end. Alright, fine. I know how to deal with you. I learned about this. Give you a couple of those. Damn. 
Damn, dude. Ooh, he dropped the great bow. <laughs> the game was listening. Oh, shit. It's another one. All right. You know what? Here. We're just going to gonna be real efficient with this guy. Ooh. Oh, he's still got a hit on me. Damn. Yeah, these dudes with the twin blades, they're dangerous, man. I don't... I don't know what I'm going to do if I run into, like, an instance where I have to fight more than one of those. There's no way you've aggroed on me. That's impossible. Are these the... These are the super bears. Yeah. Or no, this is a normal bear. It's not a gnomon bear. Bro, this bear's a lot of health. But they bleed. They all bleed. Shouldn't have yelled at me, man. Yeah, these are normal bears. They don't have the omen horns. Not that it matters. Okay, I'm looking for a specific body of water. Did that thing lose aggro on me? He better have. I think the body of water I'm looking for is up on this cliff. I think we are just one surface shy. One level shy. Alright. How are we going to get in here is the question. This fire guy, he's he's going to see us. and He's going to get mad. He's going to aggro on us. We're not going to be able to loot all of the delicious things that are scattered across this place. That guy's got a bow. They thought of everything to keep me out of here. It's a shame it's not going to work. So as long as none of them blows a trumpet, we should be fine. Alright. Don't get got. Don't get got. Don't get got. We're going to maintain that energy. Don't get got. What am I going to do? I'm not going to get got. Say it with me, guys. Don't get got. Mm -hmm. ah! Don't get the god to. Yeah, I can do that too. Boy. Love it. Now we're going to sneak over this way, assuming Fire Guy isn't stomping towards us already. And we're going to get behind this archer that I scoped out. Alright, so the way I'm choosing to deal with this is going to be like a veteran Souls player. We're going to be smart. Let's uh, pull these guys. One at a time. One at a time, we can shred them. This guy doesn't seem to care when I shoot his buddies. So we'll just keep doing that, shall we? Look at that. They just get all mad and go running right past him. And he's like, I didn't see anything. You're crazy. We all have those supervisors that gaslight us. And this is what we do to them. You spent too much time switching to your twin blade, man. You could have just shot me. <laughs> Remember, reloading is always faster than switching to your twin blade. Ah, oh, that thing's horrifying, man. It's like just watching it, especially when it starts walking. When those things start like walking forward, it's like it's like contemplating how you're gonna fight Godzilla from a distance. We got another Ember of Mesmer. We got six of them. That was a nice find. The rain has calmed down. Yeah, look at that dude. Oh, that big bastard is just foreboding. I'm going to share a really cool story with you guys while I finish cleaning up these uh, remaining Mesmer soldiers. So when I was young, I grew up watching Godzilla, right? I love Godzilla. I've always been a huge fan of Godzilla. The thing is, I remember when I was really young, like 
you know, eight years old, maybe, just not even double digits yet. I had this really intense dream where I was, uh, I don't know where I was geographically, I couldn't tell you. Take a look at that. But I was on a beach somewhere, and I was running on foot, and I could see Godzilla in the distance walking on land. So, like, I was against the beach, against the water, he was on, you know, the land side, and I remember... Is it this we picked up? Golden Bow? You can't craft Golden Bow. Can you? Dude. Golden Bow is a consumable now. <laughs> That's sick, man. Yeah, we're making one of those. Alright, let's see how it does. Oh, I made these, by the way. We're gonna find we're gonna find an excuse to play with those. Um, anyway, yeah, there's just like this dream that Godzilla was just walking on land in the distance, and it was intense, dude. Like it was scary as shit. Like as much as I love Godzilla, that dream legit stuck or struck fear into me. You missed. You jerk. I'll take that. And it was scary because he just kept getting closer and closer to me, you know? Like, he... He was just advancing on me. And... It struck fear into me as just like a child who had nothing but admiration for Godzilla, you know? It scared me. It was... Just horrifying. It's like... He... It was like he was aggroed on me, you know? It wasn't just like... He was minding his own business and just stomping the countryside. He was like, he was coming towards me. It's like he could see me in the dream. Like, he was looking right at me. And, I don't know, it just... Something about it. It was wicked, though. It was just a super nightmare. Oh my god, I overshot it! Oh no, this is bad! <laughs> Why did I do this? Ow! Why am I fighting these guys? I don't even need to. Screw this. I just wanted to take out the one that was going to blow the horn. That was all I cared about. I don't care about the other ones. Which one's going to blow the horn? That's what I need to know. I mean... Okay, fine. If you're going to follow me... Come here. Let's finish what we started. We may as well. I just want... Whichever one's going to alert the others. That's the one I want to get rid of. And I'm saying it's this guy. Maybe. Urgh! Oh no! Ugh! How did I... Dude, how did he miss me? He literally executed me right there. I should be dead. Oof. We traded kids. Alright. We're getting sloppy. Things are getting a little bit messy. And you. <laughs> Nobody's going to save you from this. Yeah. Nice try. Oh, he gave me the Twin Blade. I think that's a guaranteed drop from him. It's usually what happens when it pops up on the screen like that instead of you looting it. I want to say. Uh, what else is in these tents? What are you guys hiding from me? There's got to be more than just that Twin Blade up here. Oh, he did drop something for real. Nice. Got his helmet. Can get the fancy featheriness going, huh? A little wisp. If you want that, that'd be really good for some fashion souls. Let's take a look at this twin blade, though. I'm curious. Wherefore art thou? Here we go. Black steel twin blade, eight units. It requires 
low faith for being a faith scaling weapon it gets it starts off with a d in each category and it does holy damage and it's got spinning slash on it looks very cool but imagine that the that crucible ability we got with the, the wings probably go really well on that twin blade so okay i'm glad we cleared this side of the camp oh burning godzilla over there did you guys like my my Godzilla story? <laughs> Was that an interesting tale for you? I've got plenty more. Stick around and watch and you can hear them all. So let's do this. Now we're going to work our way up the hill. We're going to go to the other side of the camp. I know this is taking forever. This is like a very lengthy part of the episode. Clearing out this camp, but... I would probably rather do anything. I would rather clean my damn bathroom right now than go in there. Jesus. I'm just being honest. I'm speaking my truth. Okay, what's out here? Oh, there's a dead one. <laughs> what's wrong? Didn't have enough gas to keep that one running? What is that noise? Why is everything gold? A great room broke, and so did a powerful charm. Well, that's deliciously vague. We are definitely playing a FromSoft game. What's this? Furnace... Oh, that's what these are! These are furnace visages! Okay. I get it. See, look at the symbol. The giant... Okay, I get it now. That's what I need in order to make those pots that I love throwing. I hope we can... Uh... Hope we can find an infinite source of these soon. A way to buy them. That'd be nice. What are you holding? Furnace Keeper's Note. Let's read. It's story time. Let's go to our notes. Here we go. A note left presumably by a furnace keeper containing... How, how big of a pen would one of those things need to write? <laughs> <laughs> regarding the furnace's proper use. Keep fire pots well clear when the golem's furnace is ablaze, and never let me catch you with pots that produce flaming whirlwinds, for goodness. Excuse me? Pots that... Flaming whirlwinds... You mean like these? Hmm. I think we're going to have to make a couple of those. So when it's ablaze... That's when fire is a no-no. That's really something because you would not think that you would use fire to kill burning Godzilla, right? Something that is just walking fuck you amounts of fire? Who'd have thunk it? And why are these guys just wandering around? He dropped the furnace visage. Can you farm these guys for that shit? Well, damn. Ooh, is there another one? Hell yeah. We can make four of those pots now. I think it might be time to experiment. So, it said when it's ablaze. It always seems ablaze to me. So that means if you just throw a furnace pot at one, is that, is that how you beat these fuckers? Is that it? We might have to experiment a little bit to find out. You know what I mean? Oh, hi, perfumers. Here, I was going to test something out. Eat this. Well, that's not doing a whole lot. I guess maybe probably a good idea to waste them on these guys. How about you, fire dog? You want a furnace pot? Well, it's not a furnace pot. It's a, it's a volcano pot. Come here, you. Yes. <laughs> How does a real set of claws feel? Oh, how am I missing? There we go. You think that silly bubble is going to defend you from this? Do you not understand 
that Wolverine is like the most powerful X-Men. Ow. It's like they'll never learn. So we got another Shadow Sunflower. We got ourselves some nice perfume clothes. And let's see what else is out here. There's got to be something good in these tents. There must be. I will definitely pick up these, because we need those as well to craft those special pots that are going to help us beat Burning Godzilla. I don't know why, but for some reason, that is just what I want. Hello, you. Why don't you do me a favor and get down from there, huh? Come here, Sonny. Okay, we got rolling sparks. That... Why didn't the beetle disappear? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one of them stay. Oh, there he goes. He disappeared. <laughs> and they, the game just wanted me to watch him twitch for a little bit first. That's funny. Let's take a look at that thing we got, that Ash of War. I'm interested to read it. It's, uh... Here we go. Perfume bottles. Rolling sparks. Scatter perfume powder before you, triggering rolling explosions of deadly sparks. The properties of the sparks are determined by the perfume bottle used. So if we get a perfume bottle that is innately fire by chance, kind of like the first one we got, I would imagine it would probably be pretty solid. All right. Is there a way to do this cleanly is the question. Yes, there is, as a matter of fact. Let's give it the old Buddhist palm. Oh, hell no! Well, he ran away. <laughs> he saw the Buddhist palm coming and was like, oh, shit! <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Now we're just going to kung fu him. <laughs> we're going to run into somebody else who knows kung fu in this game, and it's going to be like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. They're going to look at me like, you have been trained in Wudan! <laughs> oh. Been a long time since I've seen that movie. Highly recommend it. If you're into martial arts movies, the ones you gotta see, and I mean the absolute spectacles, the ones that you can't miss, are... I would say the top three are probably Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Iron Monkey, for sure. Iron Monkey's probably my favorite. And then the other... Uh, that's tough. I want to say... I'm going to have to think on that, get back to you. Number three is a tough spot, because like six movies came to mind that were all fighting for it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we'll just say they're top two. Your top two are definitely like Iron Monkey, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, for sure. So, what is this? Can we even go in here? We can, it's an elevator. God, this is terrifying. It's dark. I missed the button. This is a terrible idea, guys. I mean, look at where we're on the map. Like, this... Look at this. This is... This is about to be, like, the size of... Oh, it's the Shadow Keep. See? <laughs> this is about to be the size of Landell or something. Horrifying. Oh, boy. Holy frame rate, Batman. E. Not a fan of frame rate. Okay. Shoo. Yeah, they gotta do something about that. What the fuck is that? I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna go back where the frame rate is good. Okay, cool. So, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Wow, what an eventful episode. All we did was talk about kung fu movies and Godzilla, but hell, when, what else are we supposed to do while we're destroying our enemies? So... Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Shadow Keep, complete with Headless Merica statue. Somebody here is not a fan of the Elden Ring. So, what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to fight our way through and figure out what's going on, but I don't know that we're going to continue in this direction. The Shadow Keep sounds like a terrible place. The name alone makes me think that if I step even one foot too far into this place, shit's going to hit the fan and we're going to die. So... I think what I'll do is, potentially in the next episode, maybe go exploring off, like, this way. Or maybe we'll go down to the poison place. It's probably a better idea. Like, whatever this is down here, this looks like a worthwhile place to go screw around and figure out what's happening before going into this dreadful nonsense. I need to figure out what that 
that prompt was that said that a rune somewhere broke or something like that. We're going to have to figure out what's going on with that too. But thank you so much for continuing to join me on Shadow of the Erd Tree. I'm having a great time and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this place has in store for us because this looks pretty challenging. But who knows where we're going to go next time. It could be this. It could be the poison place. It could be who knows where. But thanks so much for joining me on today's episode of Shadow of the Erd Tree. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.